what is wcf microsoft has introduced wcf for inter process communication wcf let us to establish communication channels using msmq and routing etc explain the components used in wcf below are the essential components of wcf service class endpoint and hosting environment how wcf works wcf will follow software and service model in which all essential components are defined as services and this will be used by client program explain the difference between classic web services asmx and wcf classic web service known as asmx where using soap protocol for sending and receiving the messages over network and over http protocol whereas wcf allows the communication to happen over any transport protocol what is endpoint in wcf endpoint will have the following properties address binding and contract explain address property of endpoint in wcf address property is a part of endpoint defined in the service level and this property is used to determine the location of the service where it is located explain binding property of endpoint in wcf binding property is the part of endpoint defined in service level and this property is used to decide out the type of protocols encodings and transport these all factors has been decided by both the parties who want to communicate with each other explain contract property of endpoint in wcf it is just an interface between client and server where client and server communicate each other contracts are used to identify operations available explain the types of contracts available in wcf below are the list types of contracts available in wcf data contracts service contracts major contracts and fault contracts explain service contracts in wcf service contracts attribute given at the service level for wcf service and it will give you the list of operations that can be performed from that service service contracts can be defined like service contracts underscore brackets